Hello, my name is Kate and this video is all about my experience of alopecia. So hello to you if you watch my videos, welcome back and hi if you've just found this video because you're experiencing it or you're worried about it or you have it, you have alopecia and you just want to hear someone else's story. So that's what this video is all about. So I hope you're okay. Um, before I get into the video, I always do a mug of the day. So before I share with you my story of alopecia, um, and it was around 15 years ago that it happened to me, um, I've got to do my mug of the day. So I shall, I always start them off with a lovely mug. I'm drinking a decaf coffee. So this is my mug of the day. So just in case you have someone upon this video, I'm not being weird. It's just something I do every day and I'll just have a little sip. The first thing I will say um, is that for anything like this, how everyone deals with things differently. I deal with things with humour. So I always can see the funny side of it. I know it's not funny and it's stressful and it's really, really worrying, but I, I have to always spin it. So it, I get the humour out of it and almost laugh at myself, not take myself seriously because, you know, life, life does all sorts, doesn't it? It throws everything at us sometimes. So yeah, I deal with things um, with humour. Right, so I'll take you back to when I was 25, when I first had alopecia and I got it, yeah, I was 25. I was in a shop at the time and in New Malden in Surrey where I used to live and I was with a friend, we were in a charity shop and if you watch my videos you know that I love charity shops, so we were in a charity shop and she said to me um, that I had some hair missing and I was like what? No I haven't. And she went yeah you've got a bald patch and I was like have I? She said yeah and I had no idea so I lose quite a lot of hair anyway so my hair is always falling out, it's always you know when you have a shower when you wash your hair so much comes out. I'm just grateful it's all there at the minute. Also, it all grew back as well. So just in case you wanted to know that, just to put you at ease, um, it all grew back, at, you know, eventually. So what's I saying? Yeah, so generally my hair falls out quite a lot. I didn't notice a, a huge chunk had fallen out. So it was basically the size of an old 50p. I tried to do this the other day. I would say, yeah, an old 50p is so about this, about that large, about this big. I don't know how big that is, but it's, you know, it's fairly large. Anything? I don't know. Like an old 50p, like a round bit like that. Okay, so that was at the back of my head, and we went home. She said, "Oh, you know, your hair's missing. It's you've got a ball patch." So we went home, and she showed me, and I was really, really shocked. Again, like I said before, um, it I didn't notice any hair falling out, so I had no idea. It wasn't like I woke up and there was a clump of hair on the pillow. I just didn't know. So whether it fell out over time whether it um, all fell out once, I'll never know because I didn't even notice it. By the way, I'm not going to edit this video, so I'm just going to talk. So it might be a little bit all over the place, but I'd want to just, just to be raw and honest and normal, like I'd be, you know, telling a friend. So I'm not going to edit this video. So there might be a few bits where I go, ar, 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 and then go back to it. But hopefully you'll understand my story anyway. So what was I saying? What's the next bit? Yes, yeah, so I didn't know. I had no idea that it had fallen out. And then... Um, I was really shocked, I didn't kind of understand it and I phoned my mum and she said that she had it when she was my age and it was kind of in our genes. So that made me feel a lot better. So sometimes it can run in families and it's just what happens. And she said that hers grew back and it wasn't a big deal. I'm sure it was when she was younger, but as she was older, she was like, yeah, it grew back and it was fine. So that's kind of a little bit um, at ease with that. And I don't really think, because I'm 40 now, so 15 years ago we weren't looking up things well I wasn't on the internet so I, I couldn't find another story so I only, I only had my experience really I think I went to the doctor but I, I can't really remember so what was I going to say the next thing um I cut my hair short I went to the hairdresser it's not really short but I cut my hair to about here and I just felt really vulnerable I felt really I was really upset and I felt like everyone could see it so when I went out I thought they were all looking at my bald patch and it was right here it was in this section here and I think to be honest my hair is a lot thinner than it was before but as long as it's all there I don't mind as long as it stays it's it's fine just stay with me um so yeah I felt really vulnerable really oh I don't know just really strange and I used to wear my hair up I used to you know until it grew back I was really conscious really conscious that's what I'm trying to say I also had another patch fall out um I think before it started growing back, I had this bottom bit falling out. So that was small, that was the size of a 1p coin, so about this big. My measurements are really rubbish. Forget that bit there, like really small, about this big, start falling out of the bottom, and I thought, oh, that's it. 
my hair is all going to come out and you know that you know I'm going to be completely bald that's honestly what I thought but it as I said it all it all grew back um but while I was while it happened I had a boyfriend at the time and my friend who spotted it was living with me at the time and I just I had to make jokes like I said I have to use humor with everything so I remember watching Wimbledon I think it was it must have been in June and it was like bald patches on the tennis court and I was like I know what they feel like it looks like my head and I just had to like make jokes about different things and you know and that helped me so if that can help you at all just I don't know I just had to laugh at myself because it was such a, a weird thing to happen um what was I gonna say yeah so eventually it grew back uh, I think over this was a long time it's 15 years ago when I got my hair cut shorter I felt a bit better because my hair isn't the thickest and I think it just helped cover it slightly um and then it did yeah it did start to grow back when it was growing back it was like little a little tuft at first I remember it kept massage in the back thinking come on you could do it please come back this one I didn't really worry too much about because it was low down but that was right at the back of my head literally like there and then I kept massaging and saying come on come back and then eventually it started like tufting I was like so proud of my little tufts you can do it guys and then they came through and it was like I remember being like half a centimeter and a centimeter and then it started growing and then it was eventually covered I can't remember exactly how long it took to come back so if you watching this video and you've had alopecia I know there was a few comments on my video the other day because I mentioned it whilst I was doing a Poundland haul and I said if anyone wants like a full video let me know and a few people did I got some DMs saying they had alopecia too and in the same situation or had it when they were younger someone else had a 50p pence size um fallout and you know we've quite a lot of us have had it but no one really talks about it and to be, I was going to do a video before and I didn't get around to doing it and then as I was talking the other day it came out I was like all right I need you know it's important to do things like this um, because in case anyone else has a worry, it's completely normal. So yeah, it did grow back. Um, and how long did that take? I don't know. I want to say like six months, but I, I'm not entirely sure because it was a long time ago, but it came back. That was like the main thing. Another weird thing, oh, by the way, is like well into the video, but alopecia is when your hair falls out. <laughs> I should have explained this at the start, but you probably know. I think I'm writing hair loss anyway in the title. Um, so another weird thing that happened. So that grew back. And then since then, touch wood touch the bench touch my dog who's sitting here I haven't had any other bits fall out the only weird thing that's happened after I had Toby my son um my hair got nice and thick I was been worrying thinking what's gonna happen now my hair got quite thick before I had Toby and then after I had him it didn't it was fine it sort of fell out as it normally does a lot of my hair always falls out but there was no clumps luckily there was no patches um which is brilliant and there hasn't been since but the weird thing when he was about six months old or three months no but three months old um, I had my eyelashes, a couple of exactly the same place. I've got um, false eyelashes on at the minute and I normally get extensions. Um, but before I had them, when I just used to curl my eyelashes, this is obviously years ago. Oh no, where was I told you? It's eight years ago. So 15 years ago, alopecia, two patches. And then eight years ago, I had a little section of my eyelashes fell out kind of in the middle. And I would say about half a centimetre about half a centimetre there was a gap so my hair again fell out on my eyelashes um but that was before I had eyelash extensions and then extension extensions 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 so I just used to that worried me but I just thought oh please don't no, no please come back and it did it all grew back I just used to get black eyeliner and draw across no one noticed, but it was just a weird thing. It was like a little gap in the middle. Um, and then I haven't luckily touched wood, touched bench, touched the dog, touched my hair. Um, I haven't had it since. So I don't know what that was about. I don't know what triggered it, but that, yeah, that was another weird thing. Um, but that grew back and then I haven't had that since. I, I sort of, until lockdown, I was getting eyelash, eyelash extensions all the time and my lashes have been fine, luckily, because I thought all oh, might happen again, but it didn't. So that was fine. Um, and now I've just got little um, fake ones I put on today, you know, like eyelash, what are they called? Just false eyelashes. And then I put these on today, but I've been having nothing for a while. All the extensions have fallen out and um, they're just normal, which is probably really good. So I think going forward, sorry, I'm just going around the LPC thing. Um, I'll come back to it though. I'm not gonna get extensions. I think I'm just gonna leave my lashes and then if there's a special occasion or if I'm filming or I want to have lashes on, then I can put them on because it probably is a lot better for my eyelashes because they've gone really stubbly, like stubby, I mean, not stubbly, that's like 
beard, but they're really short. So I think I'm gonna stop that actually. It's another thing I've learned from lockdown. Um, so back to the alopecia thing, it didn't happen again. My eyelashes grew back, my hair grew back, um, but it's just a really strange, strange situation. I remember just being really, really worried when I was younger. Um, I don't have any pictures. I was talking to a couple of friends, to you and Miss Carrington. He said, have you got any pictures? I didn't, I couldn't have taken any pictures. I just couldn't. I didn't want anyone to know, which is so silly. It's ridiculous. Until afterwards, you know, I told ev I told everyone. And it's important to share those stories. And I'll tell, you know, my friends and stuff. I just haven't on YouTube for some reason. I didn't get around to it. Um, but it's important to talk about it. And it's completely normal. And different things happen to different people at different times. And you don't even know why. But they're just normal. Don't take them. Try not to take them seriously. And, you know, it's fine to be upset. And I was really upset but you just have to kind of deal with things. It's just a really stranger, strange, it's just very strange. It seems like a long time ago though, but I just wanted to share this story. I don't think there's anything else to add. I'm just trying to think, um, no. I don't know if it's to do with having large follicles. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know, um, cause I have quite big pores. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, like my face um, and just generally I have quite large, pause so I don't know if that's going to do with it but um yeah I don't know that's all I have to say really that was my alopecia story and luckily it all grew back but if you are experiencing it if you're if it's your you've got to this video and it's just happened to you talk to someone tell your friend tell your uh, family just tell anyone have a look online and there's lots of people I know there's a few people I know that's had it and theirs grew back as well um yeah but to just talk to someone and try and try and see like if you can see the humour in things like this and just you know hopefully it'll all grow back and hopefully it'll all you know it'll all be okay it's just life is funny sometimes it just throws things at you and you just have to deal with it and you're not you know no one's no we don't know what we're doing then things happen and yeah it's just yeah that's it really I'm babbling a bit now but that's my experience with alopecia if you have any questions if i've like missed out anything just pop them in the comments and i will um write back to you uh yeah i think that's it i haven't got anything else to add but i hope you did enjoy this video and if you are worried about it like i said talk to someone um write in the comments a problem shared is a problem halved or whatever that is but yeah just know that i had it it grew back it came back it grew back it went to my eyelashes they grew back and it's all okay but I am oh yeah just quickly I have something else I am fairly conscious about how much hair falls out of my head every time I wash it every time I brush it there's literally loads of hair on the floor I don't even know how there's hair in my head because of all this all the hair that falls out like where I get ready for my makeup there's hair everywhere but just this hair gets everywhere um and oh, what's the other thing I forgot what I was going to say um about my hair I also, so the reason I started talking about alopecia in the final vi the video, my Poundland video, was because I found this Batiste, I'll link that video in the description, I found this um, like brush on, it's meant to brush greys, but it's actually good if you have, if you have a little ball patch or if you put your hair up and there's a section that's missing, like I'm quite fair around my face with my hair so I could always paint on the little um, grey cover, it's like covers grey gray hairs and it just, if I'm worried about my scalp showing, I can then you know, kind of paint it on or brush it on and it will cover it up. And I do worry in the sun, this front bit here is quite um, what's, quite fine or quite fair, or it, I feel like, you know, that could, that can look fairly a little bit sort of see-through, if you know what I mean. So I do worry about that sometimes if there's pictures in the sun and your hair's at a funny angle. But again, you know, I could just paint on that stuff and it kind of disappears a little bit. Um, so have a look at that video, that might help. Any questions, pop them in the comments. Any tips or anything you need to add or anything, if you know more about, a lot more about alopecia than me, I don't know a lot, I just, that's my experience of it. That's Rufus the, the dog snoring, by the way. Just write it in the comments because you can educate me and educate someone else if you know, you know, you know what you're talking about. And any experiences you have, just write them down as well. And I'm sure they will help people. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, and I will speak to you very soon. Sending all my love. If you do have alopecia, fingers crossed it will grow back for you. And if it doesn't, you've got to make the best of the situation. And I did have a lovely comment from a lady who um she has some really beautiful wigs and she wears them um, and she's quite happy you know wearing them i think her hair did, came back and then 
went again and then came back so I think her, you know she has different hairstyles all the time and that was really lovely reading that so any positives in you share your experiences in the comments if you want to and share any comments that have helped you share comments share anything that's helped you as well um and it might help someone else if they're if they've stumbled upon this video because they're worried about it so thank you very much and i will go now and take care of yourselves i will speak to you soon bye